haven't selected the cards this is power one two three and four and just go with, with it within your heart this might not connect with every person but hopefully we have fun have some entertainment have some positive words and just have you know guidance and friendship so with that let's get started so first i'll be doing power one or card one So let's see what these cards have to say about power one. What does this card have to say about power one? Okay. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. This means hard work will pay out. Okay. Hard work will pay off. For some of you, um, <clears throat> this also can represent an opportunity. A new start okay and then we have the knight of cups so this represents love compassion relationship okay someone asking you out taking things farther in the relationship or it can be finding passion in a career okay going forward getting over something and then we have the reversal of the nine of um, swords so this energy means you're coming out of conflict or becoming more sure of yourself or you wanting to become more sure of yourself or more sure of a relationship, a job, um, tired for some, you're tired of being, you know, in this weird position, this sleepless, you know, position and you're coming out of that. Okay. So for card one, you're moving forward. Okay. The energy around you is stating move forward. There's opportunities for love, career, um, just get out your head, okay? Stop overthinking things. Stop replaying negativity or negative thoughts. And things will move forward in your life, okay? So, let's go to card two. So, let's see. What is card two for my readers? Card two for my readers. Card two for my readers. Let's see. Oh, so we have the reversal of the three of swords. So for some of you, you are getting over heartbreak. You're getting over betrayal. You're giving, um, getting over being upset or trying to get over being upset. For some, there's a third party energy that caused this. And then you have the temperance. So this card represents Sagittarius like me, um, divine timing. Okay. This is basically stating be patient. Okay. Um, get back into your spiritual journey, okay, and that's any spiritual journey, and get back to your inner self, starting, start having inner conversations with yourself, okay, um, inner healing, okay, inner healing, and then you have the emperor, so this also can deal with an Aries boss, so you have boss-like energy, once you get over this funky-ass energy, with time, patience, dedication, working on yourself, working on something that's on the outside of yourself, just moving forward in life, you will have this emperor energy, this boss ass energy. Okay, this is a businessman. This is someone who takes control. This is the one who's sure of where they, they're going, goals. Okay, you have all that in your surrounding environment and you can align with that. Okay, so let's do card three. Okay. So let's do card three for my divines. Card three for my divines. Card three for my divines. Okay. So we have warrior woman. Have you answers your deepest call? So for some of you, this is stating what is your purpose or follow your purpose. And if you don't have a purpose, think about that because that's something that you can really flourish and something that you can create you have that manifestation manifestation power okay that's why you was directed and got it got it to toward this card okay so find your purpose okay then it's arma 
what are you being called to journey to? So basically, this is confirming, you know, find your journey, find your path. And with your path comes your purpose. So it's basically saying take goal down notes of goals. OK, be aware of your current situations and where you want to be and make realistic goals to get there. OK, not everything happens overnight. You don't have to look at anyone else's journey and compare yourself. Just start doing things that you know eventually will pay off. For example, I'm in school. But I'm not where I want to be in life, but I know that if I put towards energy to something towards my future, eventually I'm going to get there. And some of you, it doesn't have to be school. It could be an inner passion, an inner journey, okay? So how you feel about something, how you feel about your past, how you feel about trauma, getting over that, walking through that, sharing your story through your darkest moments, okay? And then you have the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? What type of habits are you repeating? What type of thought patterns keep you from moving forward or keep you from having positive or clarity in your life, okay? So we're going to power four, the last power. So we have the last power. Let's go ahead and pull these cards up. Turn over. Okay. So what is the energy surrounding my divine? What is the energy surrounding my divine? What is the energy surrounding my divine? Okay. So we have smooth and easy. Ooh, so for that. Take a step back about some situations or not try to be too um, attached to a person, place, or thing or to thoughts. It's be flow. I mean, uh, be with the flow. Go with the flow. Smooth and easy, okay? Everything is working in your favor for your overall benefit. And then you have silver lining. Also, with these cards, numbers do play an important. So you have 28 here that can be a number. Um, that is beneficial for you. Also 37. If not beneficial, it can just be a number that has meaning. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Also silver lining. Um, what this represents is there is a there is a silver lining in certain situations that you're going through. You don't see it now, but there's a purpose. Okay. Just relax. Okay. I'm seeing I'm hearing relax. Like take your time. It's gonna be okay. Look. <laughs> number 32 everything is beautiful so it just confirms relax everything's happening for a reason there's a silver lining you're going on a detour you might think damn i'm not with this person i'm this not going right i'm in this situation or why i keep thinking about this and it's like relax everything is beautiful take some time to meditate take take some time to really be by yourself okay take some time to read out affirmations okay and I'll post some affirmations later if you need help with that. Also, I will post things about like goals and stuff like that. And just overall motivation, okay? Now, if this resonates, please comment below. Also, I do have a YouTube channel called Divine Honesty. And thank you for reading along. And thank you to my divines.